Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. This is what it says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 16. But what does that mean to any of us? Each week we come to Mass and we hear about faith. But do you believe that God is watching over you? That he is guiding you? If you don't, then why are you here? Fear of death and superstition is not reason enough to enter the kingdom. The Lord hears the voices of those who pray, but those voices must be sincere and full. Every single voice is important. We must join our voices together and remind the Lord that we are still here and we still intend to do his will on earth as it is in heaven. I'm sorry, son. Mass is over. I need to talk to you. Or however it works. Confession Saturday afternoon. Come back then. I didn't think God took breaks, Father. I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do. You can just go ahead. I'm listening. Thanks, Father. I guess... I really came here for answers. I don't really know, I mean, I just, what I really want is for you to tell me that God is there and that there's a reason to be here. Of course God has a plan for all of us. Otherwise, why would we be here? I just can't believe that. You carry a heavy weight on your shoulders. I don't know what answers to give you. I'm not even sure what I expected, Father. A long time ago, I decided to live my life accepting that there's nothing after this. So I just tried to make the best of it. Things were okay for a long time. But I woke up today and I realized I'm all alone. I just can't handle it. You're never alone. You've been rejecting your father for so long, yet he still loves you. Why not let him in? I can't let someone in if I don't know where they are. Unfortunately, I haven't seen or felt God in my life for a long time. What about your parents? I'm sure they're always willing to lend an ear. I grew up in foster homes. I was taken away from my mother when I was eight. I haven't really seen her since then. I'm sorry. I'll pray that she's guided down the right path. I have a feeling that her path is very short. Anyway, I live with so many different people. But every time I joined a new family, I felt more alone. I was going to commit suicide, but I was interrupted. Well, suicide is never an answer. You should accept the sign that God gave you when he stopped you. Had you died, you would have been condemned to eternal fire. Can't you see that he was trying to come into your life then, even in such a dark time? That's just it, Father. In the eyes of this so-called God, I would have went to hell for killing myself. So I made a mistake. But who doesn't fuck up at least once in their life? How is it fair that certain people are allowed to make up for their mistakes? but others burn in hell. I just don't think a God with so much love would let something like that occur. I know, my son. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Having faith helps get through the tough times. Does it? Does your faith help you? Really? Father? Um. I'm sorry I can't help you. I, I just don't know. It's okay, Father. It's my fault. I mean, you're a priest, not a psychiatrist. I should leave. No, no, it, it's not your fault. Um, Charlie. Charlie. I'm sorry I can't help you. 
this is just as confusing to me as it is to you. I'm supposed to be a messenger of God, a deliverer of his good news. I just don't feel that way anymore. Well, why not, Father? You have a beautiful building and... What good is a beautiful building when it's empty inside? I used to reach hundreds of parishioners with good news from the Lord. Now I'm lucky if six people stay long enough to hear my sermon. Don't you think that God still hears your sermon, Father? I haven't felt God in my life for a long time, son. I don't think he listens to anything I say anymore. I just feel like it doesn't make a difference if one person or a million people believe. I mean, if he exists, he exists. Charlie, I've been doing this for a long time. God exists in the minds of people. If no people are here to believe in God, then as far as I'm concerned, there is no God. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Couldn't God exist in your mind as an idea? What kind of idea? I don't know. I guess, well, if God is like this thing to aspire to, a way to live your life as a good person, even if it's all in your mind, is that so bad? God is morality? Maybe so. It's been so long since I felt any spirituality in doing this. Sometimes I feel like I've lost all hope. Well, Father, whether or not there is a God, is it so bad that you continue to preach a positive message? A message of love and faith? It's a dark world out there. Is it so wrong to be a beacon of hope to whoever needs it? No, I guess not. Faith shouldn't be a crutch for living your life. It should be a result of living your life. I don't know what to tell you, Charlie. Just follow your bliss. Charlie? Charlie?